Hello everyone, it's Clemmy from Clemmy's Creations. Um, I've been gone for a while. Um, I've moved and um, trying to get settled in and everything. Um, I have before you a custom order that is for um, Jane. And Jane is the best um, customer ever, you guys. She has been so patient with me because I believe I started on this journal either in January which is what I'm thinking because I have a um, tab in there that says January. or um, But even before, I know I was supposed to be working on this journal. So anyway, getting that out of the way, I just want to say thank you um, for your patience. So let's get into the journal. Um, it is a winter wonderland journal. And I know, you guys, that it is officially spring. However, I live in Texas, if you can tell by my accent. <laughs> um... But we're having um, 40 degree weather and it's supposed to drop down into the 30s. Um, tomorrow it'll be 100 probably, but it's just the way we roll around here. Anywho, to the journal. So um, it is quite a chunky one. I have um, a chunky, <laughs> chunky journal, chunky charm. I have gone with um, this chunky charm. I do like the way that it turned out. Um, I have lots of crystals, white and blues, and um, there you have it. It is um, the three-in-ones, and this does take apart or come apart, but I did not go crazy um, with the charms, and I know someone right now is kind of laughing, but um, I really didn't. I didn't heavily charm it up, so I am going to include some other charms for her, mainly because I do not have my typical charms on the side as I like to put my charms on the side, the dangle, the charm dangles on the side. This is removable and I will probably be removing. Well, I know that I will. I'll remove that in a second. Um, but this spine is, I believe, uh, four and a quarter um, inches. I took one of the images from one of the kit and I've used um, two kits. I've used... Artie Mays' winter kit and Calico Collage's winter kit. I think it's um, Simply Winter. And I also used some papers from Authentic um, called uh, Solitude. Just a flower. Put that um, an image from one of the kits inside of here. Um, a thick layer of glossy accents to protect it and bring out the shine and just some flowers on the side of that. So, instead of just um, one little uh, thing holding for the closure, I decided to use three. And this is just one of those little brooches. It will remove, simple as that. Okay, and here's that chunky charm, I guess. I'm trying to get you guys a better view of it. Well... I have lots of pieces here. There it is, you guys, and I do love it. Love, love, love the way that it turned out. Okay, on to the journal. And um, I also struggled, I, I struggled a lot with this journal. I would not lie, you guys, with everything that was going on. Sometimes it was hard for me to find inspiration. Um, but I knew that I wanted, um, Lots of fluffy lace. And these are all the dangles um, in the center of the signatures. So, let me check out, make sure that I'm in frame. And I'm in frame um, good enough, I guess. As you can see, it is um, quite chunky. I, I know that I've done a chunky one and probably a little more chunky, a little more pages or maybe not. Um, but this one is more chunky um, than what she has. But anyway, okay, so I've just got this on the cover. I turned some little bling and uh, made a little butterfly. In my struggles, one of them being I could not, um, I wanted to make her a really nice um, shaker card. And I wanted to show it because that sucker, oh my goodness, it was one of my, frustrations because in trying to find things as I was unpacking I could not I could not find my acetate and I can't find that darn um, 
the one I, I created. But anyway, I was determined to put her something in there. But I've got this large tag that says the story begins. I have um, covered the front of it with um, this fabric that I was going to cover the journal with, but decided against it. But as you can see, it has like little crystal bits. I do have it lined on the back. And this is the best that I could come up with, you guys, for a shaker card, okay? Um, does shake like that. There's the back, and I didn't put the lines on the back of it, but this pulls out. You see, this book belongs to. She can pull this out. There's her shaker. Okay, write her name there, and it'll show through that window, and then it does open. It's a trifold. It will open up for um, her little short story on the front. And after she puts her name back in, I mean, she writes her name, then she can see that through there like that. So let's put this back in. So I was saying this is quite chunky, and you guys are seeing that I'm having to hold it over like this because it is so chunky. But this one, this image is from Artie Mays' kit. Um, she has lots of owls like that in her kit. And... Um, her kit, I believe, is a winter's tale because that's a winter's tale. But the name of my journal is Winter Wonderland. Okay. There's um, quite a few pockets I've included in this journal. And I just have some things that I've cut down from some of the digital kits. This image is actually from that um, authentic um, paper collection. And of course it won't go back in. I don't have time for that. Okay, so this is the next page. I bought quite a, um, I bought a couple of punches and um, this being one. So I used this one, but I wasn't really pleased with um, the way that they were turning out. I was going to try and, um, oh crap, emboss, not emboss it, heat emboss, whatever. Whatever I was trying, it, it didn't work. And these little snowflakes I purchased when Crafty Irina told us to purchase these and take um, the little tinsels off and use them as, um, you know, accents on our pages and our tags and stuff. So I had some of those. This is my um, next page, my little fabric page. I love this fabric, you guys. Um, I just love that. I know it kind of looks like it could go perfect with a, a mermaid journal as well. And I have enough left over that I could do that. Um, if I need to. Okay. Um, yes, I'm snapping my fingers because the boys are starting to get a little riled up. And on the mention, I bought those um, punches. And I also bought about $50 worth of other stuff, guys. Dyes. Um, I can't even think. Stamps and charms. Um, little, you know, like snowmen and sleds and all of that. And I was so excited. I never received those things, you guys. So I'm a little, that was another one of the things that was frustrating me. Um, I know it probably got lost in translation with the move. And so I kept waiting and I, you know, I just, whatever, it just is what it is. So my local, um, Hobby Lobby helped me out with, um, the little snowflake charms. But anyway, um, just a little tag. And this one will open up like so. And that goes in that first pocket. There are two pockets there. That is a pocket as well. And I do have something down in there. Okay. Um, this is something... I was taking a long time even more when I finally started um, getting into it really good and I made too much um, I made too many signatures because when I put it together you guys can see that it's already um, chunky and I'm I want to say that I'm trying to get away from that but really I love um, my chunkies but anyway so um, I was I started tearing um, the signatures apart, tearing pages out that I wanted to keep. And this is one of those pages because I liked what I did. But in doing so, I um, kind of messed it up. So this is what you're going to have to do, Jane. I want you to open this up. And you know how um, they tell you sometimes just write something down and just to get it off your chest when you're done with it. 
flush it down the toilet, burn it, throw it away, whatever you want to do. That's what you're going to have to do here. I mean, you don't, but I'm just telling you that you can because I used, um, which um, it was also time consuming, the little glitter paint that they have at um, Walmart. And I was edging all of my stuff in that I, I used the silver metallic and then I went over it with um, the silver uh, diamond glitter and they're kind of sticky. But when I went to glue um, them back in, it tore here a little bit. I mean, it's not coming apart and you can see it and I keep messing with it. But just for if you mess with that quite a bit, it is going to come off. So I love that image. I love that lady. I didn't want to remove it because it tied into um, this little page that I pulled out of um, the Sears and Roebuck catalog. As you can see, they do have um, coats on. So it went perfect with the theme of the journal. So then just glue that down, whatever you want to get off your chest or say, put it there and then just glue that down. Um, and there's that page. And this, <laughs> I'm so excited about this, you guys. Um, my daughter made some snow um, people for me. Um, and I'm so excited the way that they turned out. They were so cute. We were all making snowmen and my snow person looked horrible. And I looked over at hers and she had really, really done a very good job. So I asked her if she would include it in, if I could include it in the journal, and she did. This is my little snow lady. I like her little scarf, and she's got the little crown. And yes, you guys, my daughter is very artistic. And this will pop out at the back. Well, if it will pop out, if it will get off of that string. Anywho, and it opens like so for journaling. So I do have a lot of pull-out elements, Jane, because this one is chunky, chunky, chunky. And this is from that um, Authentic. They have a lot of little cards like that. And I have probably about 50 I'm going to include because I, I will not be making another um, holiday-themed journal, you guys. So there will be no need for um, any of the stuff that I um, accumulated um, in the making of this journal. And this is from um, Calico Collages Kit. Look at that bird, just beautiful. I'm struggling, struggling, struggling. Anyway, we're not gonna uh, worry about it too much. And this as well is from um, Calico Collage and Winter Days. And then I took, I have, when I uh, make these journals, chunky journals, I overprint because I use them for so many different things. Um, and so with the leftovers, I just kind of made this little, to look like an envelope. But all of this is journaling. Now I've been asked, um, they're, your journals are pretty, but how do you write in them? Well, I give you lots of elements. This is journaling. You know, journal on the front, journal on the back, just whatever. But say if you see something like this and it's covering, and I know that this book is so chunky, I'm not really getting a good angle. And you see that and it looks like it's all clogged up, right? Well, once you remove that and you remove that, you have all that to journal on. And I know those of us who've done this for a while that we know that, but maybe some of the newer um, junk journal junk journalers do not know. So um, there's a hint there. I hope I'm in frame. Okay, so um, just more elements. This is one of the envelopes from the kit. And these kits did um, blend in well, very well together. All of that is journaling. And this is my little, <laughs> this is my little snowman pen. Very simple, but very lovely. And it will just stick back in there like so. Bring it down some. There's that image. Love the um the deer. And I made another one of the little 
envelopes out of one of the pages. This one was um, mostly lines, so that's a good thing. And that tucks completely inside that pocket. And there's that image again. I really do love that image. And the end of that signature, I went with this um, owl tag. That is just gorgeous. Love that owl. Okay, um, when I started working on the journal and I said, and I thought about this for a while, you guys, this right here, I want it to be completely removable. Um, and then I thought better about it. I said, no, let me go ahead and um, tie this down. And so that's what I did. I was going to show you guys the grid that I use. And I think, yeah, because I'm hiding all of my junk up under here because I have, um, I do have my other project or next project um, on my table. I guess I can't find it. But anyway, my grid is um, different sizes. The grid that you use for um, to put your to sew your signatures into your spine, I had to come up with a different way because um, a lot of them are different sizes. But anyway, so this is just a little fabric. Um, I can't say that it's a, po a pocket, but I guess it's a little envelope or a little little bag. But anyway, I've used Velcro to um, keep the closure for closure, and these are just some little snowflakes for accents. And it opens up like so. See, it was going to come out and you were going to be able to remove these pages to journal on and then put back in. But <clears throat> didn't work out that way. So here's one of the tags from the kit. Love this little girl image of her. And then it's just mostly um, writing it's another tag. That's beautiful. And I fussy cut one of the squirrels out to use as a um, tuck spot. Another tag. Here's the back. We've got Bambi. Okay. And it does have a little dangle on it. And there's the back of that, and I've used Bambi again. Okay, second signature. Um, I bought some of these um, 3D elements at Tuesday morning that went in perfectly with the kit. Went to Wonderland theme. This is a pocket at the top. Pull that out, and it says, like snowflakes, we are unique in our own way. Ah, that will pull out. And... I think, yes, I have used some of the lined paper to cover the inside of that. And there's the back of that. And I love this lace. Um, Terry, I had a lot of lace and Terry gave me a lot of um, white lace when I told her I was working on this journal. So thank you for that. This is just a little card thing lined it there. You can put a picture here and I cannot find my um, place photo here because that's what I was going to put right here. I'll keep looking for that before I um, mail it off. Bring, bring into mind that um, I will not be posting this video until um, she has received the journal. Um, and I just stuck some tags in there from um, the Authentic Collection. It says, like us, no two snowflakes are the same. And I love this next one. <laughs> There's snow place like home. And they're just stuck in there. And that little authentic also came with a little quote from um, W.H. Gibson. Silently like thoughts that come and go, the snowflakes fall, each one a gem. Um... This is Create Your Own Magic. And I believe those are Artie Mazes from Artie Mazes kit. Okay, so I have to pop the paper clips off.
because let's see can't even remember okay that pops out like that for journaling and i guess over yeah 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 oh there we go huh forgot so there's a lot there this is a pocket but pull it out and then open the pocket and i've stuffed um this in this is one of the images from the kit love that and there it's lined at the back that will pop back in there. Or will it go in nicely? And how? Yes. Like so. And clip it back up so that it stays closed. Oh, yeah. Um, there is a little... I don't want to tear it up. Um, well, you can't read it, but it says, when the weather is cold, keep a warm heart. And there's just a little envelope, and you can tell I've glittered it up around the edges. This is one of the little pockets that came with um, Artie Maze's kit. I love that, but I haven't included anything in there. I didn't. I don't. I didn't see a um, tag that went with the pocket, but that's not a surprise if she has one and I just didn't see it because when I went back in to see um, to make for sure who I had purchased the digital kits from, I realized that um, I purchased everything that came with Calico's um, kit. And I didn't print out the um I didn't print out the pockets and they are gorgeous. Oh my gosh. But I have to get um this journal to her and I don't know um if I'm gonna be able to um go in and print those off to try and send her. That is the plan though. Okay, on to the next thing. Um this is another little tag from the kit. And this is um these are from Calico Collage's kit. And I think, yeah, I did line the back of these. Okay. So, this is one of my little pockets that flips um, out. And I do have it held together with Velcro. Okay, so there's, um, I can't even think, I can't even talk right now. Oh, goodness gracious. So Herman Linda has done a wonderful um, tutorial, you guys. Um, very clear, very good instructions. So go over and um, check her video out. And I remember the first time um, that I did, a, um, I added a hinge to the side here so that you can open um, this page up completely so that you have this page to journal on as this page as well as the base page. Well, the way that she does it, you don't even have to add that hinge, and I love that. So go over and check her um, tutorial out, you guys. It is awesome. This does pop up and out. Um, he will pull out. And some more squirrel tags, rabbit tag, squirrels, rabbits. And it is held there by um, some Velcro. I do have uh, more of those 3D elements. Just says snow. This is clipped in so that it didn't bulge out, but it's just another envelope. And inside I have just a piece of paper that I have from the kit and then I've just folded it up to fit inside this envelope. And I love these envelopes because they're lined, so that's pretty cool. Did I show you the front? That's the front. I'm sorry, you guys. My um, my youngest son has fixed himself some bagels. I'm sorry. They look lovely. You did a very good job. Thank you. All right. Oh, the mommy kiss. Mm. Mommy doesn't want one though. See if Lexi wants one, okay? And I think you got the blueberries. Oh. Yeah, I think those are the blueberry kind. You used. You should have. Okay, let mommy finish the video. It's already long. Okay. Go go and eat. Go and eat them. 
Your mommy finished the video. Okay, here's the... Okay, here. Oh, okay. So I've got this tag behind um, this. And I know it's like, that doesn't match, Clemmy. And that is because this one is supposed to be here. But anywho, didn't do that. Added this little dangle onto that one. And I love that look. Precious. But anyway, so this is just the same as the other. Okay, except for the pockets are assimilated differently. There's a tag. Um, love that image. Um, didn't want to cut that off, so I just folded it over. More journaling. Journaling, a couple of t uh, pockets on the inside. And there's nothing in this uh, pocket, but there's a generous pocket back there as well. Shh. Okay, so this was supposed to go in this one. And I put it here, and I was like, oh my gosh, it went perfectly. So that is what we stayed with. But I love that little pocket. And there's a 3D um, element again. And this... Um, Pearl and bling uh, trim came from Hobby Lobby. And this is the first little um, snow man that my daughter made, you guys. This is what really, um, you know, got me to wanting it. But look at him. Check him out. Isn't that cool? He's got the little feathers in his head. Feathers up. <laughs> okay, so he was first. And then I asked her to do another one for me. And so that's why we have the little female in the front of the book, of course. Okay, so he just sticks back in there. And this is another one of those punches that I bought um, for this journal that I will be giving to Terry because, like I said, I will not be doing um, this this theme anymore. Um, so anyway, I like that. I just uh, backed it with white so it um, shows through. And then in the little star part of it, I put a little bling piece to kind of help that stand out. But I do like that there. And no, that's not a pocket. This says Simply Winter more bling bling and that will just open to journal on and this will pop out okay it'll pop out more bling another image more um, of those calendars okay i'm gonna try to hear you up now you guys but i love that uh, winter's tale love that little house and it says, let's play outside. I put a little bling on the snowflake that will pop out there. And to keep it from falling through, because you can see it's not um, as deep as the pocket, I have the little heart to where it hangs on to that page. A couple of tags. And another tag. It's lined at the back like so. More tags. See, I've included lots of tags, you guys. And there's a little um, doily. I just added a little, um, goodness gracious, whatever that is. I just added that into the center of the flower. And these are some um, envelopes that I made using some of the stuff from the kit. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is one of the little envelopes. And this is why, you guys, okay, see, I do not do good with making little bitty things. But this will pop out. And this also will pop out. And she can journal on that then close it back up. And I'll close it back up later because... That's a hard time doing that. And see, I have um, used the January papers from the Edith Holden book. Um, and I typically do that whatever month I'm working on or I start a journal. I'll put that month um, and from the Edith Holden in the book. And they're in their winter underwear. And I love the way that this turned out. And I went to uh, put my signatures in and I did um, get this one. So this is a little crooked. But anyway... Um, Look at that. Just precious. And I have some um, uh, appliques that I got from Donald Little a while back. 
And there's that page. Some tags behind, lace. Another a little tag that I've made, journaling, journaling underneath. More tags that says that, and it opens up for more journaling. Little 3D element, it ties in well with the pink over here. There's a little tag. Um, Brahmas of gray skies, I don't know what. And she can gesso over that um, and then journal over the top of that. I didn't do that because every time I do that, it doesn't look right to me. I don't know why. There's that, and I've stuck this bow bunny tag in because um, it has the little trees down here, and I like that, and it has the little snowflakes up here. I didn't do anything else to it, but I liked it. She can um, do something to it if she wants or throw it out if she likes. But I kept that there, and it's a nice, thick um, quality. And there's that tag just to um, add some interest to the page. And here's my little January, um, the, the first page, I guess, in the Edith Holden book. But, say excuse me, my goodness. And it just pops open. I just, um, this can be removed. I just have it clipped on. The little owl holding that. And this is a journal page with little Bambi. We'll take out and she can journal over all of that. Um, I see I have a pocket here that I haven't done anything with. I'm going to have to fix this, so let's leave that hanging out. Um, I wasn't even going to put anything on this page, but I decided to stick this here so it wouldn't be so plain. But it does actually, if it still will. And I guess I've sewn it into the signatures pretty much almost, but it pops out. Or you don't have to if you don't want to. Okay, and I do love all the lace on this um, layout. I just love that. Added the little bling elements to kind of bring it out. But I have um, those tags as well. It just sticks back in. And this is the last um, page, last of the book. Just have that little tag stuck in there. And another tag from the um, kids and a lot of I just put a lot of um, um, these are all the animals from the kids you guys so we've got the owl we've got the sly fox and the little bunny rabbits the tree the tree is not an animal no okay and they will pop out. I didn't line them, but um, cause my stamp wouldn't fill the whole thing, but she can go in and journal on those. And this one is like that as well. These are just full pages from those kits with our, um, all the animals of the kit that came in the kits. The owls, squirrels, rabbits, and deer. And the people. I um, am waiting for, um, I've got a couple of stamps coming in. I've been waiting for those. I don't think they um, will probably get in, so I will have to use my old stamp. But I will use, I will be putting my, um, you know, my little Clemmie's Creation stamp on there. But what I did, um, you guys, those of you who are still with me, because I do not want to make another video of this, with that, um, extra uh, signatures the extra signatures that I had I went ahead and made um, a little purse journal for her and um, see that's my little tag is gonna hang down from there but anywho so this is it and when I made this I was like oh my goodness um, I shall I give her this because this was I was gonna use it but anyway because it looks like a wedding um, theme journal but it's not so it just ties with that and this keeps getting hooked up into my lace so it has a generous pocket. This is um, the first page. This pocket is open and behind it is supposed to go, um, this book belongs to when the story begins. There's that image. And I'm going to make a pocket to go with that one. And there's January. 
And there's the little fox again, that 3D element. And this bag I got from Susan. Um, I haven't used the lace. If I told her I was working on this journal, she probably would have loaded me up with some good lace. But all of the lace that she got me, um, she gave me, you guys, is going into the other journal that I'm working on at the moment. I just have um, some lovely lace and lovely goodies that I've um, been blessed with lately. Okay, there's that other pocket. This is um, just a little envelope from the kit. And I made a journal out of it the way that I do. Can't help myself sometimes. And there's a tag it will pull off. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Okay, so there's that. These are just little tags. Um, I was gonna probably back them with white and put, um, and you know, put ribbons through them. A little tag, ah, stuck down in there good. And it says a winter's tail, it will come out. Um, some bling I think I got at Hobby Lobby somewhere, but I've got this lace over it so that it doesn't so that these pieces don't tear anything up. There's that image. There's a pocket. Is there anything in there? Yeah, there's something down there. And there's a flip up and a little deer. There's a tag behind. More tags. And these signatures have the little snowflakes on them. Another pocket with quite a few items in there some bling pocket oh i almost forgot about this um goodness this is a little tag behind and i made it to where when you put it in there the bird <laughs> the bird sticks out above that but this is <clears throat> this is a little flip out and this is um hermelinda's little um flip out thing that she um you know she has where she had you know this part and you the two envelope things you guys i had to do me i used a full piece of paper and i made this little part to be journaling part because it's just how i roll i guess i just can't help myself but that pulls out and all of this opens for journaling okay close it up no if i move this you'll see her melinda's how she has her little double pockets of course, of course, hers look way better than mine, but I like that. And then this is a um, piece of lace is just a tuck to hold that in place. Pocket, a little rabbit, a rabbit, rabbit, a little page for journaling. Yeah, mama's tired now. My little boy just looked up at me. Aww. Okay, another little pocket. Oh, look at Bambi little Bambi and this is another one of the little envelopes the snowflake is supposed to help hold it down but yeah journal on it close it back up some stuff in that pocket and this tag these two do the same thing and I was thinking about adding some velcro to help keep them closed but I don't think I'll need to I think they're gonna be fine There's that, and some other tags. I need to finish up, but I've got to get this um, done and shipped off to her. Okay, you guys, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned because in my next video, or probably you guys, I'm gonna, I'll upload the other videos before I upload or post this one. I'll be gathering up my. Um, I like it. Oh, thank you. I like <laughs> gathering. It too. Thank you. Gathering up my uh, vintage uh, paper uh, sets to um, sell and give away. Um, anyway, thank you all for watching um, and have a lovely day, night, evening, wherever you are. He's giving me kisses, aw. Yummy, yummy.